folks, here we have a very special Range Rover. It is a 2002, but it would be the best looked after 2002 on the market. It was traded back into us from a regular customer of ours. He's bought an innumerable amount of cars from us. He lives in Adelaide. And he traded it in on an ML63. He has done a lot to this, including a full gearbox service. The suspension operates perfectly. And it's got a few Vogue options as well, which I'll point out when we get to them. So he's had the uh, updated mesh inserts and grille put on, as well as the wheels. Tyres are excellent, and the whole car in general is in really good nick. You've got three keys as well, two masters and a valet. And if you're looking at a Range Rover, in this price range, there's nothing that even comes close. This guy was, is, he's a very nice man, a real fanatic. He conditioned his leather, garaged his car. We've got original rangy weather mats on the carpet. You can see just how nice the interior is here. The wood trim, all nice and intact. All the cup holders working. Everything on this car is just functioning as it should. And it's really rare to see ranges of this vintage where everything is working. The cream parchment leather looks great. It's just such a nice car to sit in and drive. You feel very regal. I've got the, uh, bear with me, open up the boot for you. Clamshell boot that we all love. And he's even put down extra carpet to protect his boot. This nice shag, which we're just going to leave in the car. You can remove it if you don't want it. And you can even sit on this. And uh, it can hold my weight. I'm 112 kilos, so I'm sure it can hold you guys. Just like a big bank vault. Absolutely beautiful truck. It's in a sort of green color. It's like a almost like a sort of dark spearmint. I'd call it almost um, mint. I don't know the, the color code for it, but it looks very nice. It's sort of almost got a hint, hint of gray in it as well. Stepping in, it's an easy hop in height. I've got it on the lowest suspension setting at the moment. So we'll just fire it up, excuse the phone. So firing it up, beautiful and quiet. You can see it's done 182,000 Ks, which is really nothing for a big rangey. That V8 sounds awesome. So suspension, set it up to the middle setting, instantly rising. You can see there, as quick as can be, and I'm already up on that setting. And we'll go up to the top. And then I'll hop out and I'll show you. So we're still going up. I can feel myself <laughs> rising. It's a little bit uh, unnerving at first. It's kind of cool too. So you'll see in a second we'll be on the highest setting. So I think we're about there at the moment going to get up and show you the uh, improved ride height. So as you can see there, we are nice and high. And that is for off-road. If you need to go up a steep track to your hunting lodge and whatnot. I'll drop it back down now so you can see the difference. So we'll watch the car fall. There she goes. So now we're on the lowest setting. Just absolutely quick, painless with this. So it's just absolutely fantastic sitting up here. I feel like the king of the world. 
no other car gives you this sort of driving position. Maybe the Mercedes G Wagon, but it just doesn't feel as uh, as luxurious. It can't hide its age. This car is in great shape. I'm trying to find a radio station so you can have a bit of a go of the sound system. Sounds really good. You can pair your phone. It's just what is what else is there to say? You've got your off-road settings down here. Conventional automatic, very easy to use. Just a wonderful car. If you've been looking for a Range Rover, as I said earlier, there isn't a better one on the market from the year than this. This has had so much work done and it's just in perfect order for a car of this vintage. It's all you could hope for. We're the Old Timer Centre, www.old.com.au. Give us a call, send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. And we'll catch you down the road.